Shakari Richardson gets a 30-day suspension by the Olympics for testing positive for weed. Like this is this is disappointing for me in so many levels. I'm I'm disappointed because I wanted to see Richardson do the woman's 100 fastest woman alive. She was gonna probably break the Olympic world record. She was gonna steal all the headlines. She looks so cool with her hair flowing, her orange hair, her long nails, her tattoos. She was ready to become the face of the woman's 100 meter race. And now we won't be able to see her. So I'm disappointed. Selfishly, I'm disappointed for me because I don't get to see it. I'm disappointed for her because it's a great opportunity. She was becoming a star. And I'm disappointed in the Olympics because they seem to be stuck in past times. Like the the state that she did weed in is legal. It's legal in like, I believe, like 21 states in the states. Um, it just seems like they're stuck in the Stone Age. Weed is not a sports enhancement it doesn't enhance you in any ways she said she smoked it because her mom died and she was you know battling depression or she was very down obviously so her mom died and i just think weed is not one of those drugs that you gotta you, you should be testing for in the olympics anymore like like it's not it's really not a performance <laughs> it's not gonna help you run any faster and if, and if shikari richardson was um for the lack of better words dumb enough to smoke like let's say right before the 100 meters it was not gonna benefit her so like it's not and and you're allowed to drink so like she could have been drunk going into the woman's 100 and that would have been perfectly fine no one would have batted an eye people would have just said like oh that's very dumb why would she do that but it's allowed but like if she would have been high like and and all these scenarios are just crazy because it would have never happened she like she was not running high she just she got high off the court off the field off the track and field and she tested positive for it and now she's getting suspended and we're not going to see her in the hundreds we might see her in the four by 100s but it just seems like we're <sighs> the olympics are stuck in stone age and we got to keep moving forward and it's just very hypocritical of them when they allow like you could literally be drunk in in the olympics and no one bats an eye but she tested positive for weed and everyone's going crazy and they want to suspend her let her run let her run um but i'm just i'm i feel i'm i'm saddened by this i know how much this meant to shikari richardson but i i like the attitude that she's taking she's going on to talk shows she's giving her side of the story she's saying like like it must be really really hard for her to talk about this too because she she keeps on having to talk about how sad her, her mom passing away made her and how she's been dealing with like that sadness and that relaxation that her mom is gone and you know we'd helped her you know relax and take the edge off a little bit and now because she's in the spotlight and because this is happening she just have she just has to keep reliving, reliving those moments day in and day out and she can't seem to get away with it so i just for for her for richardson's sake i just hope she's she's she has a good support team i hope her team is behind her her family is behind her and i hope she's she's getting through i know this is this must be really really hard on her like mentally <clears throat> and i just hope her mental health is is good or it's not like deteriorating i know it's hard it's gonna be hard for it to be like amazing or just for her to be all super jolly and just you know think that everything is fine but everything happens for a reason i like the attitude that she has she's already saying like eh, like, all these people that think they're perfect that are judging me you know good for you i'm happy that you guys are, are perfect i'm paraphrasing she said something along those words and she said i might not be you know the olympic champion this year but i am going to be the world champion next year when she does the the world competition for track and field so i like i like that positive attitude that she has and i think the olympics has to reconsider like what they're testing for like we're moving forward is we're not stuck in the stone age they should never even be testing for um marijuana i know the nba is not going to test for it anymore the nfl is moving towards that direction too they're not going to test for marijuana so i think that's just that's where we gotta we, we gotta start heading as like all, all sports we got to start heading in that direction and like we've as the years go by we're starting to see the benefits of marijuana as as you know 
as a supplement instead of using um, painkillers, which painkillers are super addictive. They ruin they ruin livers. They ruin careers. Taking painkillers is not, as far as I'm concerned, you should you shouldn't. If you have the opportunity to smoke weed or take painkillers, by all means, weed is way healthier. Painkillers, all these other pharmaceuticals that they're trying to push on these athletes, like, come on, like, what are we doing? Why are we stuck in the Stone Age? What are we doing? This should never be a story, not in 2021. And I just feel for Shikari Richardson. I hope that, you know, like I said already, I hope she has a strong support team. I hope she's doing okay i just really feel really sad for her because i was super excited for her for her to do good in the olympics i was going to definitely tune in and it, this must just be devastating all the work that she's put in to get to this level and to be taking it away like just like that like it's very disappointing and i hope we move forward and we're not this we don't hear similar stories like this anymore